Okay, everybody, welcome to the Daily Closing episode number 46. Mm -mm. Great to have you, yes, uh, yes. Alexis Smith. Great to have you, Lorena. Lorena. Happy to be here. Uh, how was Thanksgiving? Phenomenal. Yeah, yes. The whole table feels a little heavier. I just want you to <laughs> yes. know. I don't know what happened in those days. but <laughs> yes. uh, I didn't eat too much. No? No? Okay. No. Okay. no not enough to Ferky? No, I, I don't know. Like no? Ferky. But I didn't eat a lot, period. Yeah. I... I yeah. It was my first Thanksgiving eating meat. I should have turkey. Horrible. No, I, 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 I'm not a turkey. I don't stand a chance. Not a turkey guy. I can't, I can't. No? But I ate everything else that was not <laughs> But anyway, uh, guys, a number of things that we got to go through today. Uh, um, I want to highlight the fact that uh, Chris Cuomo is becoming a regular out of uh, the PVD podcast, Value Taping. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm curious to hear perspectives and opinion about that. Well, Chris Cuomo was one of those guys that every time I was watching him in CNN, I was I was only able to handle him for like five minutes, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then I had to jump off. Um, maybe because it, as a job that you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to either support certain things or maybe just report certain things. Mm -hmm. And the way he went about reporting, right? Yeah. I want to be fair about it because I'm looking back into what exactly got me so bothered sometimes that I would just say I can't take more than five minutes of yeah. this, guys. It, it was it was probably the fact that, yes, you have to report certain things and maybe the way he went about it. You know what I mean? I, I guess when, you, when you're playing in a, in a certain team, you know what I mean? There's like you got to stick to, you, you got to defend the flag. You know what right. I mean? You got to do the. So the first... The first interview, the first time that I saw him going to the to the PVD podcast, right, the Patrick Bed David podcast and Value Tamen, I literally started following the guy. Mm -hmm. That was that much of an adjustment to say, wow. you know what, you 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 went through hell and back. Your brother went through hell and back. Your father was a great man, and so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I I I felt that the conversation was so honest and refreshing. Yeah. And in many ways, the guy allowed himself to, to even look, mm -hmm. come across vulnerable. You yeah. know what I mean? So I said, so I said, I'm going to support you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to support you. And, and something as insignificant as somebody choosing to say, hey, I'm seeing you for the first time or I'm listening to the conversation for the first time. I'm going to support you. How do you support somebody like that? Well, just follow the person. I got you. Just follow the person. You know, let somebody know that you saw something <coughs> that feels like his making some adjustment to his way. Maybe now that he's got a lot more freedom, right? Because he's not necessarily sold out to a specific brand. Oh, he's got just more flexibility. They, they interview the participation, because this was not an interview about him. They, they address as the normal issues that Patrick will address mm -hmm. in terms of everything that's going on, market, economy, politics, mm -hmm. obviously, and stuff like that. Uh, his position was as reasonable Mm -hmm. As you can possibly be, you, the, essentially was a center, center right, right. Also made it very clear, you know, there's some personal issues with with Donald Trump that will make it very difficult to 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 vote for somebody like Donald Trump because of the stuff that went on uh, on during a personal the, level. That they, I, and it became a little more personal that. But other than that, every single one of his comments, uh, the guy is very smart though. You know what I mean? An incredible communicator, um, funny. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, but it's, I, I hope that something positive is developing there and something good is going to come out of it, but uh, any takes on, 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 on these guys? Um, so, so, go, okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So for me, um, I, di I didn't see the, the, the latest interview he did with um, Patrick, but, um, but at the end of the day, how I feel about it is it's one of two things. It could be where now, like you said, he has the freedom to say what he wants to say, sure. you know, um, where he didn't have that freedom. Because if you're working for a, a, a network, then you can't say what you want. You got a job at the end of the day, you know, and if, and if you don't fall in line as far as your thoughts, as far as what the network's ideas are, then you can easily, um, you know, lose your job. But it, it could be that uh, maybe now he has more free or maybe he changed his mind. So I don't know if he was always thinking how he's thinking now or, you know, but he just didn't have the freedom to say it or no, before he was thinking, no, this was my thoughts. Correct. And, and, and people are allowed to do that. So, 
I mean, at, at the end of the day, I think it's always good when we hear different perspectives, you know, even if we don't agree with all of them. You know. uh, extremely so, healthy. Correct. Extremely correct. healthy. Extremely healthy. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, look, I, then I wonder how many people, because you're saying mm -hmm. absolutely right, he's got a little bit more freedom. He's got a, mm -hmm. He doesn't represent a brand other than himself yeah. right now, right? I mean, is that, yeah, he's, is that where I'm he's, right? he's part of a network, but he's show is essentially an independent show okay so, he, so he he doesn't necessarily control the narrative of the network but he controls whatever he says in his own space right 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 which you can tell you right. know and i'm mean? sure that was probably negotiated versus it being a script right Correct. if you're in a place like cnn uh msnbc even fox news uh, or whatever it is, if your language doesn't fit the narrative, then you get filtered out. And mm -hmm. I wonder mm -hmm. how many people would actually be likable. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Will sure. be more center right or center whatever. Actual center, which I don't know where the hell the center is right now, because the left is going so freaking left. But it's That's like, <laughs> I feel like Joey is like, you cross the, the line is a dot to you. Like, so, you know, if you think of people, because there are people that have stepped out of the line in, in different areas. You're talking about Megan Kelly, you know, Tucker Carlson, uh, Glenn Beck, uh, on the left side, Keith Overman. Um, you know, that they said something when they were like, nope, you're not aligned with us, and they knocked him out. Mm -hmm. So I really wonder, you know, what are some of the... Well, you know, when you listen to the guy... Um, like, will you, you actually know, be friends with Rachel Maddow? Telling the story, I, I would probably sit down and have a conversation. I don't see the possibility of friendship. You guys agree. You know what I mean? I don't know. No, no, I mean... She I, used I, to be my idol, by yeah, the way. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, I, point, I, I, you, I you, you mentioned that. As a, that but yeah. that also tells about your own process, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It talks yeah, about... Yeah. Because if that was your, your number one person, and for me... I mean, look, it was in the early 2000s, and she was... a. Uh, probably one of the few lesbians on TV. Mm. So it's the only thing that I had to... Was that one of the main reasons? Uh, not... Uh, yes, that was one. The mm -hmm. other one is the people... Again, I'm supporting somebody. I looked at somebody that... Yeah. Looks like me, sounds like me. Let me start uh, that being a, a factor. She was a great communicator. She is mm -hmm. a great communicator. Mm -hmm. She spoke about things that matter, mm -hmm. right? And from a perspective of I didn't have papers or I wasn't necessarily a U.S. citizen. And I also have... Uh, my group of friends were all very liberal and very politically oriented do, do, so I went to do, do we check for papers you know, do, do yeah, yeah papers please <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're not gonna get no vaccine papers but the other papers I got you uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah you know it's like I went to like Kendrick Meek rallies and you know Obama rallies and all that stuff like I was, mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. very even though I couldn't vote I felt that that was the way that I could support so I've always been kind of like paying attention to politics because mm -hmm. it did what it did for my country what was very crazy was to find out that I was being fed a line of BS and I realized that the things that I was supporting for, I felt like for a moment there, for me personally, this became very, very huge. Question, and I'm just, mm -hmm. I don't want to go too far off, but yeah. do you, so obviously you got papers now, right? So yeah, yeah, things have papers. changed. Yes. <laughs> oh, I have to check. <laughs> we're, not, we're not sure. No, we're no. assuming. We're assuming. No, yeah, right? yeah, Please, don't deport me. <laughs> right. Man. But watch this. So here's my question. If you would not have done certain things, do you think um, the things that you support would have changed? Honestly, entrepreneurship mm -hmm. was yeah. one of the biggest things. But, but okay, but even that. So let's assume you didn't go into entrepreneurship. You're still working at the job you had previously. You're still in that. Would you now such support a great something different? You get what yeah, I'm saying? It, it's such a great question because uh, I, I will tell you, you, you know, while you're thinking about that, mm -hmm. I... I, I pose that question to myself mm -hmm. a number of times, even when I'm having a conversation. For example, um, when I'm addressing the issue of immigration, mm -hmm. you know, I want to make sure that the integrity of uh, our immigration laws and, uh, and, and our borders are respected. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, and I have to be honest and tell you that I, I always revert back to my main concern being the, the, the humanitarian crisis that continues to develop. So as much as my my um, perspective did go through a process of evolution from saying most people don't even think about I'm going to break the law. I know that for personal experience. You know what I mean? That you, you're not doing that thinking I'm going to go break the law. You know what I mean? It's like, that's not your game plan. Your game plan right. is completely different but that doesn't mean that that doesn't happen it, it, it in fact i mean is and so when i'm having a conversation with somebody who is only seeing it from that lens yeah. right 
and they frustrated and angry. What I don't try to do is try to minimize the meaning that is, is connected to the other person. What I try to do is, in addition to validating the point of the person, I try to explain to them as much as as you can humanly, humanly can. I mean, as much as possible, you can actually explain somebody the reason as to why mm-hmm. somebody is will, will have to do something like that. Gotcha. The reason as to why this is something that is not going to stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will tell you, for me, to, we, we can minimize it. We can minimize it, man, but we can minimize it down to 5% of what's actually happening. Yeah. But, but to say that it's going to disappear 100%, that won't happen. That that will require changing one hundred percent how we deal with immigration. But I I have to accept mm-hmm. that it's that is no longer. But by, by the way, the best way to explain it to you is that it's no longer a biased perspective. It's a perspective that is willing to consider both sides of it, yeah. be respectful of both, without losing what I still consider you know being extremely important about the conversation so for me uh, and then just about the topic of immigration mm-hmm. yeah but in general there's a million other topics that yeah uh, so i don't know how you so, process that. no well, for me it was it was interesting obviously environment has a lot to do yeah. so even as we were starting current. in the current company under the leadership of patrick hearing some of those conversations that were very rough for me yeah. to listen to mm-hmm. uh, just because but I was always willing to. I respect them tremendously. Whether but there are some things that I don't. I, I, I saw you struggling a lot with some of the early conversations that we had about uh, numbers. I mean, we know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years, no, yeah. and I, I won't be so arrogant to say that environment had nothing to do with yeah. it. It did tremendously because it wasn't anything new. So I was part of the environment where I was able to learn about. My biggest shift didn't happen because of you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, it happened because I saw somebody like me that's also a lesbian wearing a MAGA hat and uh, and I'm like what happened there and it was a play on words but she was going through her process of they call it walk away or leaving the left Mm -hmm. right there's like a campaigns and stuff like that and it's like why I left the left and she went through her process, and I was also wondering, what the heck were they chasing? They, they hated so much about Donald Trump. So what, what were the key points that, that when you were listening to the reasons that somebody had to walk away? Like, what did they cite it? Do you remember specific points that they were? Yes. One of them was victimhood. Okay. That was one of the biggest things. Uh, you know, it's like everybody kept on painting us and me, my community, as a victim. Mm. And I didn't want to agree with that because yeah. I don't. I never liked that regardless of on which side of the equation yeah. I was, even though I would behave like one more when mm. I was aligned to the other side. Um, and I didn't even know it. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the biggest things. Um, the second thing was connected to money. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't anything that she said. It was something that happened when we were dealing with the whole Obamacare. And I was finding out how, you know, I made technically less money than somebody that, you know, works way less than me. And somewhere, somehow I had to pay three, four times more yeah. just because I decided to become an entrepreneur. And this right. guy was an employee. Yeah. And he was playing the system. So I'm like, well, the system goes that. And then that's when I learned about socialism. So, and, and not learn, because Patrick had been talking about it. I just connected the dots and I realized, oh, wow, this is what was happening in my country. Mm-hmm. It's not the line that I'm being fed. So I started looking at both sides of the equations and I realized that I assigned more, I aligned more and more in one, with one side. Okay. But going back to the whole, these people in Chris Cuomo, mm-hmm. I wonder how many people are in the closet because mm-hmm. they have to. <laughs> You know, maybe they don't believe everything that they're spitting out, but they, they got a job. do it because they have a job, <laughs> you know. So because even at work, if you didn't align with a certain principle, that became an issue. I'm, I'm looking forward. You know, there's one thing that he said about the environment, meaning being with the, uh, the PVD podcast and, and, and with that group of people. Uh, you know, he told Patrick, I respect you. I, I, I think that you you know, are, are doing something very unique here, you know what I mean, that uh, usually doesn't even work for most people, so, but you are getting it to work, you know what I mean, in a very clear perspective, he said, and I, and I, and I trust you, I trust, you know what I mean, so, so that alone, if you go into a conversation, right, and your level of trust is very high, mm-hmm. you're, 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 you're going to communicate, Play loose. 
Exactly, because yeah. you don't have to yeah, be yeah. so yeah. careful about yeah. every single thing that you're, that you're saying. So I'm looking forward to see whatever collaboration is going to come out of it. Uh, you, you know, I will tell you, it, the guy definitely uh, looks like he's at home. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know where the whole thing is going to develop, but something to consider. Are you hinting uh, that he may be part of the home team? I, th I think it follows Adam Sosnick <laughs> right now. <laughs> <You're being laughs> you know, Adam, <laughs> I would be a little concerned, <laughs> you know, that a better looking guy, better built, you know what I mean? A little and, more reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> and, uh, all I'm saying, uh, but no, no, no. Adam we has, love you, Adam. Adam has shifted uh, uh, also. Uh, also, somebody yeah. that went through an yeah, incredible... Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah, you know what I mean? He Just went from Trump to Spending Syndrome a lot of time too. with Patrick, you know what I mean? And listening to <laughs> reasonable perspectives. But uh, but that being said, like I said, listen, I enjoyed both of those conversations. And, and, and it looks like there's a possibility for something awesome. to come out of it. That's, that's a good thing for the marketplace. Yeah. Because what was good about it is that they didn't agree on everything. Yeah. And they were able to break down. So why are you holding that position? Why do you support that? And Alexi, I don't care who you are. That's that's something extremely needed today, where where you can have a reasonable conversation and to take the time to try to understand. To literally, I'm listening to learn. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like to really try to understand what your position is. Yes. We need that badly. We need mm -hmm. that more than ever this day. So so happy, happy to see that. Yes. That was a very helpful conversation. But uh, with that being said, we're deeply grateful that you're part yes. of this conversation. Uh, next week, we're looking forward to doing a little bit of a holiday special. Uh, we're going to give you some numbers we about what's hats. going on on the economy. I don't wear hats. Probably, no Christmas hats? I don't, I don't <laughs> no. know. No. What do you mean you don't wear hats? I've seen you wearing hats. Sorry, sorry. He's, like, he's announcing something and here we are fighting. It's like, bro, I'm going to get you an elf hat uh, with like the big ears. But with that being said, <laughs> if this was helpful, yes. please like pass it around. Let us know what you think in any, any of your, mm -hmm. uh, any perspective that you sure. had before that ended up evolving or ended up shifting a little bit. Yeah, we we'll love to hear that. Uh, and we see you the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.